This is uh, my grandfather, Zachariah Carwell, and his uh, brothers and sisters, to as close as we can figure out. Okay. Start up in the left top corner. That was his oldest sister, Martha Ann. And going to the right is his sister, Judith. And in the right upper corner, his brother Dan, starting back on the left side, is my grandfather Zachariah and his wife Nancy. And the next picture, the gentleman with the hat on, we suspect that to be his brother Charles Green when he was younger. And the picture of the older guy next to him is Charles Green when he was an older man and his wife. Sally. Down in the left bottom corner, we think that is Zach's sister, Mary, who married George Poole. And to the bottom right corner is his brother, James Henry. And we do not have any pictures of his brother, David C. or George W. Where are we headed to next? To uh, Hates Chapel Cemetery to put the headstone in for my grandfather Carwile, Zachariah Carwile. How y'all doing? Oh, all right, Bob got her whip. How you doing? All right. I'm Chuck. Great. Oh, yeah. How was it? How? Okay. Nice to meet you. Hey. I'm Dave Carwile. Okay. All right. I've been back here okay. four, four or five different times. Just my grandfather. Okay. My grandmother right there. Grandfather never had a stone, so now he's got one. We'll come back tomorrow and put that on there. Oh, okay. The uh, cemetery that we just left where the Condor family is buried is owned uh, presently by Allen. Still, Stillman, and that's probably the third or fourth generation owner. His parents and grandparents, and probably great grandparents, owned that. And this property, that this cemetery is owned, is presently owned by a man named Chuck Burrington. Uh, owners before that were not originally from Brackenridge County, and at the time of the cemetery was founded back in probably prior to the Civil War, I have no idea who might have owned the property then. But uh, this is called Tate's Chapel Cemetery. At one time, out on the highway that we came in, just short distance from here, there was a church there for this cemetery, for this community, and that was called Tate's Chapel. And uh, the stone that we just put in was my grandfather, Zachariah Skillman Carlisle. He died in 1925, and we have just now put the stone in, so he's finally got his headstone.